June 6, 1972. Cold as hell. It's time to blow out the candles. Remember to make a wish, honey. That's my boy. Very good. Looks like a little shit, Happy don't Happy birthday, son. Did you see that, Dad? Man, they grow up fast. I bet you can remember my sixth birthday like it was yesterday. The bastard. Mary, could you please clean up? Lucius can help you with the dishes. He can stay up later this evening to play with his new toys, but in bed no later than ten. Yes, ma'am. Something tells me she's going to regret asking about getting that kid to help her later that evening. There he is, that little bastard. And who's this creepy fucker? <laughs> Hey dudes and dudettes, haven't introduced this game yet. Um, this is Lucius, I got this on Steam. Um, I got the whole pack, I got one, two and three. Um, I've heard of this game, I've never actually played it. Uh, so I was quite intrigued, not gonna lie. Uh, playing as a little bastard child who goes around killing people. Sounds like fun, right? Uh, anyway, let's get into it. Right, okay, so what have we got here then? HUD introduction okay current selected skill so that's just grab is it detection indicator current skill current power level okay cool um, oh pick up the padlock from the table by pressing mouse Okay, yes, I will take that. Ooh. And um, some groceries. All the groceries here. Very good. Lock the freezer door by pointing at it with the padlock and press mouse. Ooh, we've done it. That's a little bastard, doesn't he? Oh god. That poor woman.
The crew has crewed. The perfect crew. <laughs> oh. Time's going on. God. Poor woman. Bad day of work. If I put the pieces together, this all started years back, with the arrival of a new life. Dante Manor was a place filled with darkness, and there were outward ambitions and hidden histories in that house. I tried to help. I should not have become so involved. But how these things unfold when we are thrust on the scene, I can't account for it all. For my part in these events, I waive responsibility. But it's there. It's a mark. A mark I should have noticed. At its source, at the center of it all, was the boy. Look at the little bastard. He's not even using his covers. That woman could have used the covers. The one in the freezer. Who died of the cold? Lucius! Got the goose face so quickly. Oh, is that warm enough for you, you little prick? Lucius, Lucius. No. there you are, and here I am, finally, face to face. It's okay, you can trust me. You know who I am, don't you? No. Nope. I've come to speak to you about your calling, my boy. Each offering you bring me will make you big and mighty. It's a simple thing to do, Lucius. You can influence your future and become a master over all. But oh, so much to do. So much ahead of you. I have some things for the birthday boy. There, on the desk. Excellent. Select an item from your inventory by pressing mouse. Oh, hold on. Oh my god. Hang on, is that. Oh, that did work. <laughs> oh god, look, he's got horns! Oh, what a creep. So, this is the devil. Ooh, hello, Mr. Devil. Select your items from your inventory by pressing the mouse. Okay. You'll need this ah. notebook. It will help you on your journey. You have some things for your birthday boy. They're on the desk, but oh, so much is ahead of us. Right, so it's just basically repeating what he just told us. So much time we'll get ready for bed. Oh, that was Mary. Oh no, hello? Somebody let me out of here. Oh, all right, I just improvised that. Let me out. Help! You, sir. Lucius, there you are. All right, okay. Ooh, Mary. Mary is frozen to death. I should get the padlock back. So no one will suspect that it was me. What? That makes no sense. What is, is that his personal padlock or something? And look, a flashlight. This will help you find your way around at night. Go ahead, pick up your new toys and see how they work. Creepy bastard. Do you want to play ball, Mr. Devil? Oh, well, we can't throw it to him. Oh, come on. You serious? Oh, what a little bastard. 
There must be a way to throw a ball, the ball to the devil. It's a good thing he's not going to school if he throws a ball like that. Get taking the piss out of. All right, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> uh, okay, oh, there's a draw. There's nothing in the draw. Great. Uh, okay, all right, okay. So what do I have to do now, you creepy bastard? Right, pick up the flashlight and the batteries and the table and open it with your inventory. Such a bright boy. Put the batteries inside, press the mouse two. Okay. Now, Lucius, you need to do a little something. It is important that you are not caught. In the kitchen, you left the lock on the freezer door. You will need to get that padlock, Lucius, and hide it where nobody can find it. Otherwise, they will discover you. Is it me? Oh. me? You wouldn't want that to happen. Is it me? Go or... now. <laughs> get the padlock before the adults wake up. Are you done talking? No. Oh, okay. Your teddy skill can even break some objects. Nice. I was going to say, that teddy looks really creepy. But then this is a creepy game. Oh, he's gone now. Oh my god, I can't even throw my fr the frickin' ball. Fine. Okay. God, just seeing this kid walking around at night would be so creepy, wouldn't it? Do you think? Let me know in the comments below if you think he looks creepy. Because I do! Okay, where the hell am I meant to go? Ah, here we are. Down the stairs. Oh, hang on. Open map by pressing M. You got it! So that must be me. What the hell is that? Oh! There's the arrow. Okay. So we'll go down there. Right. Okay, I don't know where that is. That looks like the freaking place, but it seems like this thing is... It seems the game is just telling me where I've got to go, basically. Here we are. Oh my god, it's just, I just thought, as I ran in, I thought no one had touched the birthday cake. Who couldn't touch the birthday cake? But they have. They've gone for it. Shouldn't leave out in the open, though, should they? Because, like, flies and insects and, you know, things might get on, get on it. I'm going to put it in the fridge. Math cool cake. Right, give that to me. Excellent. Telekinesis. Yeah, upgrade your shit. Looks like someone's found the body. Detective McGuffin. What do we got here? McGuffin? It looks like a cardiac arrest, sir. The woman collapsed in the walk-in freezer. This was probably caused by the sudden change of temperature. She was in her mid-fifties. Typical of women her age. Did you talk with the owner of the house? No, sir. They're waiting for you in the kitchen. How can something like this happen, detective? Was it a seizure of some kind? We'll look into it, but it looks like a case of misadventure. I'd ask that you stay clear of the kitchen and keep staff away while we clean up. Just relax and focus on getting life back to normal. Thanks, detective. We'll try our best. Smoking Kills, July 12th, 1972. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hi, Jean. Thank goodness you're here. Things are a mess. This could have real negative repercussions in an election year. <clears throat> it's a private matter, and an unfortunate accident. The press will keep out of it. I've seen to that. I could always count on you, Jean. Make yourself at home while I tidy up some papers. Just ring for Alistair if you need anything. Take all the time you need. Anyway, guys, we're going to leave it there. We killed our first victim, the maid. Lucky her. Um, but please, if you could give me a like if you enjoyed the video. Give me a dislike if you didn't. Um, also, comment. I'd love to hear what you thought of Lucius. I think he's a little shit. But that's my opinion. Um, also, share the video with a friend if you think they would like to know what Lucius was about or uh, see a maid being killed. <laughs> also, join my YouTube adventure by subscribing to my channel. And hopefully, I will see you in my next video. Cheers!